What is up, my Poke people? I hope you are having a fantastic day, and welcome back for episode 19 on the only channel that gives away the mostest of the bestest cards. Now, if this is your first time here, what we do is every episode I open cards, and then on the point five episodes, I give away cards. Uh, the point five episodes are actually the winner announcement episodes, so make sure you check them out as well. Uh, all you have to do is, first of all, be a subscriber. And then uh, second, answer, uh, tell me your answer in the comments down below this episode, uh, the, your answer to this episode's question, which I will uh, reveal later on. So what we have for today, we have to open a Urshifu V-Box, the Rapid Strike one, and then the Single Strike uh, V-Box, as well as the awesome little collection chest, which I absolutely love because Tyranitar is featured on the back. So that is super awesome uh as we have been doing for a couple episodes now the new channel rule is for every episode or for every episode for every tyranitar card pulled on an episode i will add one uh card to the draw pool for that episode so if we pull three i'll add three cards to the normal three cards that i do give away every episode so uh, make sure to check out every single opening uh pack open to see if we get another tyranitar because every one we pull i will add a new prize card to it and I will reveal one prize card at the end of this video, but uh, I will start from now on. I'm going to start revealing the other two, however many there are on Instagram at Batman underscore Inc. So make sure you follow me on there so you can see what those are going to be. Like I said, I will do uh, reveal one at the end of this episode uh, that for the first giveaway, but there will be two more or possibly more depending on how many Tyranitars we pull. Uh, I will post them on Instagram so you can check them out there. And as always, if you want to contact me with anything any ideas for the channel what you would like to see anything like that you can uh, uh dm me on there i try to respond as quickly as i can i always respond anyway uh so make sure you hit me up on there all right so i guess that about does it uh so without further ado let's begin all right we're gonna move right on ahead and we're gonna go straight into this rapid strike boost uh collection box so this one does look like I'm missing some packs, but I'm pretty sure the box was turned upside down and all of the packs have fallen, as you can tell, fallen down in between. So do not freak out if you ever see those in stores like that. It's just because they were mishandled a little bit and uh, they just kind of fell out or fell down inside the actual box itself. So uh, I bought one not too long ago that was actually missing the packs, but the box had been ripped up top. So it was clear that... Uh, they broke into it to steal them, whereas this in the box was relatively untouched. So, uh, it wasn't that bad. All right, there is, of course, the jumbo card. I love these Urshifus. They're so nice. Here is the code card for anyone that wants it. There are the packs, of course. Throw that over there anyway. This is the trophy garden, of course. And we already have one card up here, so... Very nice. Let's see if we can add some more to it. We got two of Battle Styles, one of Crimson Invasion, and one of Darkness Ablaze. So we're going to probably just go ahead and open Crimson Invasion first. So let's begin. I don't remember if I have any of these uh, Crimson Invasion pack artworks. I do collect those as well. I put them in my binder. And uh, I will be hopefully releasing that uh, video soon of just my collection and how I set up my binders and everything so make sure you guys look out for that all right one two three four kick that energy out the door and we have an emolga I love that emolga we have a gladion staravia remoraid a mankey jangmo o that carablast a feebass looking all goofy Ooh, Reverse Hollow Agron. Very nice. I love Agron. He is my top, one of my top three favorite Pokemon. If my, not my second Pokemon, him and a Tyrantrum go back and forth for that second spot. But uh, I do love Agron. And we have a Non-Hollow Rare Altaria. All right. Moving right on ahead, we have some Darkness Ablaze. Pretty sure I already have this pack artwork, but just in case. There is the code card. One, two, three, four. Kick that energy out the door. I just wanted to say uh, a huge thank you and shout out to everyone that has subscribed so far and uh, 
commented on the videos, participated in everything. You guys are the best, and uh, I appreciate all of your love and support you've shown me and the channel. And uh, I can't wait to see where we wind up. And uh, in case you guys have forgotten, we are on the road to 250 subscribers. So uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button and uh, turn that bell icon on so you always know when I post new content. Because new content, of course, means new giveaways. And once we reach 250 subscribers, I do have a special giveaway I'm going to be hosting. And uh, with that, I will be giving away... Three sets of sealed packs. Uh, three people will receive six packs total. So it'll be uh, six, 18 packs I'll be giving away. Um, they will be two packs of uh, Champions Pass each. Two packs of the Dollar Store Lost Thunder Packs. Wow. Reverse Hollow and the regular Rare all in the same pack. Anyway, uh, two packs of Champions Pass, two packs of the Dollar Store Lost Thunder, Thunder as well as two random surprise packs i will not say what they are because i want whoever to receive them to be surprised when they get the uh the box i send them so uh like i said that will be the uh 250 subscriber giveaway so let's make sure we get to 250 subscribers so we can give those away and some people can get some free free product i know stuff's hard to find right now so i am more than happy and willing to help give away all right so we have a reverse hollow primate and we have a hollow rare octillery very nice all right so that box wasn't the best to us let's see if we can get some better stuff out of this one like i said we are still hunting that full art tyranitar the uh, alternate art i should say or any tyranitar in general because like i said i will be giving away uh, an extra prize for every single tyranitar that we do pull so that will be nice. Just throw that over there anywhere. We'll be fine. Go ahead and sleeve this bad boy up. All right, there is the jumbo card, of course. And as always, we do have four total packs. And here's the code card, if I can ever get it. There we go. For anyone that wants it. Throw this over there anywhere. We do have Black Last Time, two battle styles. Crimson Invasion, and a Darkness Ablaze. So like I said, once again, we're going to try to keep this pack artwork because I can't remember if I have all of them or not. It just looks really nice whenever you put them uh, in front of the set that you're working to complete. kind of divides them all up because I put multiple sets in one binder instead of a set per binder. So that is just how I build my binders. Like I said, I will release a video here soon to show you guys. And we have a Grumpig, a Staravia, the Countercatcher, Bunnelby, a Shellos, Raymarade, Mankey, Jangmo O, a Reverse Hollow Haunter going into a non hollow rare Miss Magius. Alright, now some good old Darkness Ablaze. And out of this pack, I do believe we're still trying to get, of course, the uh, Charizard V Max. And, uh, I think a random, the, the Crobat maybe, I believe we haven't pulled out of here. Just the regular Crobat, not the, uh, we did pull the uh, full art Crobat, but I think we need the regular Crobat. So let's see what we're going to get. We have a Gothrita. We have Pokemon Breeders Nurturing, Combuskin, Ducklet, Carablast, Darumaka. Ooh, that beautiful Larvitar. So we did get the Larvitar. Can we get a Tyranitar? There is a Nicket. Reverse Hollow Diggersby going into a non hollow rare Bear Tick. All right, here's some more battle styles. Maybe we'll get lucky and get that Tyranitar out of this one. I know we did pull the regular ultra rare Tyranitar, but we have yet to pull the full art Tyranitar or the alternate arts. So let's see what we will get. We have Tower of Darkness, Gligar, Electabuzz, which I haven't done this in a while. He goes, Ooh. I love it. He's one of my favorite anime voices to even try to copy. I love this Murkrow too with the graveyard. It reminds me of the uh, Japanese Gengar that was as banned. I believe he's in a graveyard as well. Those two artworks would go well together. And we have a reverse hollow poniard going into non-hollow rare Mr. Rhyme. 
All right, last pack, and it is that Tyranitar artwork. This is the last pack for this box anyway. We still have this collection chest to go with. It is the Tyranitar artwork, so maybe that will be a good signs, good blessings. We shall find out. One, two, three, four. Kick that energy out the door. Going into a level ball. Rapid, or single strike energy, excuse me. A Luxio. Mawile. Fomantis. Raymarade, Spiro, Pachirisu. Ooh, a reverse hollow houndoom. I love this artwork. Love it. Going into a non hollow rare Aegislash. So those collection boxes were just awful, honestly. The pull rates are terrible on them. I mean, we did get the promos, but geez. All right, so we're going to move right on into this collection chest here. If I can get the plastic broken. Making too big of a mess. There we go. And of course, we do get two uh, hollow promo cards that are, uh, they're not promos, they're just regular hollows. I think this is the only way you can get them. So let's open them right on up. Of course, we do have this hollow shinx, which is very nice. We do have two jumbo coins, which I do love collecting the coins. We have the Urshifu. Single Strike and the Urshifu Rapid Strike. So those are very nice. And those are big coins. Like, I mean, I love the big ones. All right. And, of course, we do have, if I can get it out, this Tepig Hollow, which is very nice. And then we do have our packs. There is the code card for any of you that want it. Good luck to whoever gets it. So we do have some Sun and Moon base, Sword and Shield base, Battle Styles, Vivid Voltage, and another Battle Styles. So not too bad. We got some stickers. Can't get anything out. There we go. We have a nice little notepad, which I do try to send you guys some notes whenever uh, I send you your cards. And this is usually what I write them on, so that's nice. And I love these stickers. Of course, we do have that Tyranitar sticker, which will be used promptly. No full sheets of Tyranitar, though. Oh, yeah, there we go. There they all are. All right. Go ahead and set this all back in here. Add it on to the uh, collection later. Chunk that over there. Anywhere will be fine. All right. We'll save the battle styles for last. We'll just go on into some Sun and Moon base. All right. There is the code card. One, two, three, four. Kick that energy out the door. And we have a Lowland Eradicate, Wishy Washy, Energy Retrieval, Lillipup, Bon Sweet, Dupider, Marini, Stuffle, or re Reverse Hollow Alolan Persian going into Non Hollow Rare, Beware. Beware the beware. We do have some sword and shield base. We are still missing a few things from this, so maybe we'll get lucky and get something. I know we need that Snorlax uh, VMAX. We've yet to pull him. Kick that energy out the door. And then we're missing uh, both of the gold Zacian and Zamas into Vs. All right. Pokemon Center Lady. Energy Retrieval. Ferrothorn. Chinchu, Chinchou, however you want to say it. Diggly Dig, Ferrocede, Golding, Golding, Roselia, Reverse Hollow Pokemon Catcher, going into a non hollow rare Roserade. We do have some vivid voltage. So far, the pulls for this video have been just awful. So maybe these last few packs will do us better. Maybe we'll get an amazing rare out of some vivid voltage. That'd be nice. I have, we got the Rayquaza on episode one of the episodes, so I don't remember which one it was now, but so we did get him at least. We got some Slugma, good old Johto vibes, Wismer, Execute, Woobat, Reverse Hollow Kakuna going into, and we did get a Togekiss. I believe we've already pulled him before, but at least it is another Ultra Rare, so that is nice. We did get the Togekiss.
All right, so we'll go up here in the trophy garden. All right, we have two more battle styles. So let's get on in this. Maybe we can pull at least one Tyranitar. Of course, the full art would be simply wonderful, but two, three, four. Kick that energy out the door. Let's see what we can get. We have that Grumpig, Energy Recycler, Girder, Electabuzz, Bellsprout, Bronzor, Murkrow, Horsey, Reverse Hollow Clay all going into. And we did get a Krigatoon. Have yet to pull that one, so that is nice. Another one added to the binder. Very nice. I do love Krigatoon and his little mustachio. I can only dream of growing a mustache like that. Very nice. All right. So we do have one pack of Battle Styles left. But before we get into that, it is time for the question of the day. Today's question is, if you were to be, or excuse me, if you were to add a new energy uh, or a new type, either a new energy into the card game or a new type in general to uh, the game or Pokemon itself, what would it be? If you were to add a new energy, which one? Would it be a new energy completely or one of the types that haven't been used, such as poison or uh, rock or something like that? Or would you invent a new type altogether, such as, uh, I don't know, that'd be kind of tough. Maybe uh, light or dark. And, uh, you know, they, you have the dark type, I guess. Colorless is kind of, but, you know, have like a, a holy type almost, as you would in magic or something. So, uh, yeah, make sure you comment that down below. What... Uh, new type would you add or what new energy would you bring over to the uh, trading card game make sure you comment that down below and there's a bonus question for one extra um name added to the draw pool so if if you would like to uh try to up your chances even further make sure you answer this this is the bonus question of the day and it is what was the second ultra rare pulled in episode four on the channel so make uh you'll have to do a little digging in for that one but uh make sure you comment that down below as well what was the second ultra rare pull in episode four on the channel uh good luck to everybody and i hope you all uh enjoy while you're looking it up all right so we're gonna move right in this is the last pack of the episode can we get some last pack magic and at least get one tyranitar uh pulled of course the um this pack must be good it doesn't want me to get in it that alternate art would be beautiful but any tyranitar is still a good tyranitar there is the code card one, two, three, four. Kick that energy out the door. All right, last pack. Here we go. We have an Indeedy, the Phoebe, Phoebe, Carnivine, Ball Toy, Timber, Coffish, Cacnea, Mawile, a Reverse Hollow Tepig, going into. And we got the Hollow Rare Houndoom, which it is still a beautiful card. I love this Houndoom, so I cannot complain, but it is still nice. It is no Tyranitar. No Tyranitars were, were pulled this episode, unfortunately, but we did get some nice. We got that Togekiss V from Vivid Voltage and a Krigatoon V, which I believe we pulled this, and so this one will probably be dupes. I will have to check, but um, we have not pulled this Krigatoon, so that is nice. Uh, while we're on the channel or while we're on the channel while we're in the episode i'll go ahead and show you guys while i'm checking for that togekiss this is the binder let me see if i can zoom this out just a little be a little sneak peek for the uh the whole collection video so we're just gonna kind of give a peek in here real quick forgive me i have to clean out some stuff i don't want to sling cards everywhere all right of course this I do, like I said, I show put multiple sets in one binder. So this is, it starts with Sword and Shield Base. So we're just going to flip on over to Vivid Voltage. It's a few sets back. Not many. Here is Vivid Voltage. So we're going to go straight on to, to see if we have that Togekiss yet. And that, as you can tell, we do have the Togekiss already. So... That will be on the dupes table. And like I said, there's just a few few uh, sets. Like I said, there's Champion's Path. It's in order. Like I said, all of Champion... We're missing one card from Champion's Path. And of course, that is the Charizard V, Secret Rare, you know, the shiny Charizard. So that will be in a future video. So as of right now, Togekiss V is the... Uh, 
going to be on the dupes table. So this is the card I will be giving away for episode 19.5. So there's your one card. I will figure out what the other cards will be and I will post them on my Instagram at matman underscore ink. So make sure you follow that and you will see what the other giveaways will be. And once again, I appreciate all of you guys for coming out and watching. And I hope you have enjoyed. The pulls weren't the best on this episode, but it's still Pokemon cards. It is fun to watch and see what the surprise are. So uh, I appreciate all of you guys. And I hope you have a fantastic work, uh, week coming up. And I will see you again on Tuesday. And uh, I always remember, or first of all, I love you bunches. And I always remember, at the end of the day, we're all in this together.